huge round of applause for my friend, Carl Metzler. Thank you. Are we on? Does anybody hear me? No. First row, can you hear me? Yeah. Should I do something? See, they say always go the middle ground, so you have to. Don't fall. That's a very. In Berlin, was a one meter in something. Down the. Oh, yes. So, round of applause. Milan, Milan was saying that I was smiling under the stage, which is true, but the, the fact that I broke three of my bones in the left hand, he didn't mention. But then everything is solved out. And apparently next year, well, <laughs> we went online just to make sure nobody falls off the stage. <laughs> uh, but now I understand there's railings and uh, yellow tape on the corners of each stage at WordCamp Europe, so yeah. everyone is aware where the margin actually is. So. <laughs> That's how you go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So uh, just to, I'm going to be very short with uh, presenting myself, and then we're going to move. We're going to see a lot of photos today, uh, because my name is Valvesa, as they say, and I do social media and photography, which are two of my biggest passions, uh, besides my family. But that's you know, that's this is work. That's family. And you can find me online under the username at Spedia. You can also find me on Val. Social, because you know I'm Val and I do social, so that's the extension of the domain. And um, before we go any further, let's do a small exercise of clapping. Now, I want to say something. I'm going to do something like this, and you do one clap, but one only. We don't clap like nuts, right? Just one clap. So I'm going to go. Uh, did you hear that? OK, three, two, one. OK, so clap only once for each slide. It's just going to be a few slides. So, <laughs> okay. Anybody here from any of these companies? Woo oh yeah. Okay. Never mind. They are the sponsors. We need to be aware of you know a lot of the things and efforts that they put in. So I, I my idea was to revigorate this sort of a late talk, just to do one clap for each slide. So, oh my. Okay. Let's see. Three, two, one. Oh, three, two. One, one, <laughs> zero. <laughs> awesome, great. A long applause for you. You did great. So, dearly beloved, <laughs> we are gathered here today. By the way, when you see the green highlighted words, usually for me in my presentations are the, the things that matter the most. But also the other ones, I have to leave in there because in English, they don't really make sense. In my head, everything is in Romanian. So when I speak, I speak in English so you understand the phrases. <laughs> so I have to have the other words in there. Uh, answer, to, uh, answer this question. Why do we go to work camps? Community. Community. Friends. Friends. Sharing knowledge. Sharing knowledge. Swag, somebody said. Fun. Very honest. Fun. Ointment. <laughs> Not be bored. <laughs> Not be bored. <laughs> Brancus is fighting boredom going to work camps. Road trips. Where are we now? Zoo. I just saw the fishes. Thank you. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Okay. <laughs> Somebody started to confess. Um, so in order to go to work camps, you have to love people. Right? You, you have to be okay being around people. And you have to love WordPress, at least like WordPress, or at least pretend you love WordPress because we are at the WordPress company uh, event. But in order to photograph at events, you have to love. Oh, again, this is a conversation. So all the green words are for you. <laughs> I forgot to mention this. See, I, I'm a bit of, you know, have emotions here. So in order to photograph at, you have to love. Okay. In order to photograph at work camps, you have to love photography. Not the end. That was mine. <laughs> and volunteering. <laughs> okay, so today we'll talk about there's a green dot. Yes. 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 Somebody is actually okay. Mila. We didn't talk. He had no idea what I'm talking about, right? Did did you see the slide? No. 12. 
photography, dot, <laughs> work camps, volunteering. So is it hard to work with? I want to hear answers. Yes. 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 You're nodding, so you want to don't be on camera. You're just nodding. I'm not going to say anything. Some. Some. Some people is hard to work with. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All people. So the answer is no. I mean, it could be an answer. No. Nobody said it in the room, so I think I'm going to delete this slide. Yes. Yes. Again, when you see green, the first who says, actually, I should have some, some sort of like sweets or something for you, for everyone who's it, which is something that Ranko said a bit, like it depends. Also, the serious answer is that working to bring people together is not easy. Not easy. Not easy. Not at all. And it is rewarding. Organizers, is it rewarding? Yes. Sponsors in the room, is it rewarding? Yes. Awesome. Coming together at Events. our photographers. photographers. Let's talk about, because I'm, well, I'm not a photographer. I like photography. I take a lot of photos. Our team at, at Work Camp Europe did indeed almost 15,000 photos. Not all of them are on, the, on Flickr. Where's Thomas? I'm going to put him in a bad light here. <laughs> he's not, he's here? He's not even paying attention. Okay. And we're also going to talk about, <laughs> so photographers spend money on? Gear. How much money did you spend on gear? 10,000. I think the too much answer was very good. <laughs> also, they don't yeah. about a lot. Or passionate about, did you, do you remember, do you remember the photographer going behind Matt on the stage at Work Camp Europe yeah. in Porto? Yeah. Because we had a message, like internal messaging group, and I said, you go get the shot from behind him. And it's like, how? Right. Somebody's going to stop me. They're going to, no, no, just go get the shot. Well, this is, just, this is not that one, but this is somebody actually trying to get the shot at Work Camp Europe. So what about? Right. And? Right. At? Right. Their time to capture the? Right. Of participants. OK. As a of work camps, you get a unique chance to, by doing the thing you love most, while you other. So we briefly covered. <laughs> We're done. So people dot 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 people photography work camps volunteering. What is missing? Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Show us the photos, right? Yes. Okay. So you you shouldn't look at me because it's more. I want you to look there. So this is not an album viewing party. Aww. This is not an album viewing party. Aww. This will be a who conversation. So <laughs> who remembers this? <laughs> what? Yes, 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 correct. So already the first slide with a photo and you start what? Hearing noises, smelling, smell, yeah. the air, the conversations. Who remembers this? Again, every time you see a photo, if you remember it, please raise your hand so I can get a feel of the room. Okay. Where is Ramkus? I'm trying to find Ramkus. Who remembers this? Again, this is. Uh, yes. Somebody was very surprised in the room. Who remembers this DJ? <laughs> I have no idea what this is. I, I actually have the speaker notes, but fortunately we can't see everything. So yeah. it could be in Belgrade because I, I remember I remember he had the stickers on the laptop. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, I remember. This is this is uh, people trying to do scaffolding to. Uh... I made him do that. Okay. Okay. See, this is what we're talking about: stories, memories, people. Okay. okay, we're going to fastly move on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how, many, how many pieces of cake on the table? Who counts? Who can count fast? 
the, if, if you ask them, they'll go like, oh, it's not just for me, it's for everyone at the table, but they're just two. <laughs> okay, so see, this is a case where you should increase font size. <laughs> Can you see now? Yeah. They seem to say. Wow. Most, of these peop most of these people, as you see, they're smiling. So work camps bring people together to also, like I mentioned, smile together. Are we doing good for time? Who remembers this? Yes. Uh, what was the conversation about? Can you share? Yes. Um, wait, 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 wait for the microphone. Yeah, so please, if you know details of any of the photos, raise your hand because we want to have a conversation. <laughs> planning on organizing WordCamp the Netherlands 2017, mm -hmm. uh, which never happened because <laughs> it wasn't allowed by the uh, global WordPress organization. Like I said, emotions, reactions. A lot of emotions, <laughs> trust me. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, short, what, what were you indicating there? Like, what I was talking about the kebab shop next door. Pointing, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pointing to the basic needs at the top of the pyramid food. <laughs> I, I understand I'm right before you and dinner, so I'm going to try to be very expedited here. You have and you go with the family. And again, this is by permission, so we talk to the family, it's fine. Berlin. Yeah? Berlin. Yeah? Berlin. yeah? Of course, we have to be thankful for everyone. Actually, we can give them a round of applause for every, oh, everybody <laughs> at every work camp that is either taking photos, doing videos, being in the booth for the sound and all that. Of course. You know, there's love at work camps. I mean, people find each other, people get separated, people get reunited. Aww. Who can't remember this hat? Where is he? In the photo for sure, but I'm outside. Okay, you'll see the recording. Somebody mentioned swag. Luke, was it you? Yeah, it wasn't me. It wasn't you. Oh, don't be jealous. <laughs> of course, we lived through times that needed masks as well. Uh, this is what? Contributor Day? Porto Contributor Day, right? And this is US Contributor Day. That was on a tweet. It says, Work Camp US Contributor Day. Okay. Well, I got it off the tweet, so maybe it's fake news. Yeah. <laughs> People are happy, apparently, yeah. in the shadow, in the lights. Yeah. You know, a lot of people from various parts of the world happy to be reunited after three years or two years and a half of, you know, watching in the screens and just at the videos. Yeah. Some people are doing, you know, Spider-Man shit and <laughs> trying to... This Nilo was really great here. Actually, he tried two times to get us all together to do yeah. a family photo. Yeah. You know, talking to the mayor of the, it's, it's complicated. Yes, but enough of my selections. <coughs> if you remember some of you, I sent a tweet out, I think Monday, and I said, do you remember? Either you took a photo, or you saw a photo, or you know of a photo, of, or a moment, at any of the work camps you participated, please tweet at me. So I was like, this was supposed to be the end of my presentation. I'm like, well, I'm going to introduce, you know, user-generated content. So silly, let's see the Twitter's uh, response to my request. So this is the request. Do you remember the photo? Da, da, da. And such wonderful responses. The first one from Taco. This photo of Paolo Valenti, who recently passed away at work camp 2016. Yeah. And again, this is also part of life. You know, some, you, you, we mentioned smiles. It's not every time about just smiles, but it's also about nice and great memories of people who passed. This one of Taco being sort of a Spider-Man from Bob WP. 
pretending to be spider yeah, spider. You want the mic, Taco? No, not at all. Taco, can you explain the can you explain the context? What the heck are you doing up there? Yeah, so um, this was a work camp US after party. Um, you were, so not really a party. Work, no, not really a party. You were getting ready to jump in the audience? <laughs> Um, so, so far it's mostly been museums, <laughs> and this was a science museum with a lot of stuff going on, and one of the things you could do is climb into the bird's nest, which was a cage at the top of, um, on the top of the roof, uh, where you could climb up, and it was dead scary. Did you sign a waiver? No. <laughs> yeah. And Not signing a waiver? But well, maybe they don't go to museums so often, so that's why they do the parties there. <laughs> Where's your own? My name is there. Yeah. Okay, whose name is not there? <laughs> okay, whose name is there? Awesome, awesome. On top. <laughs> well, you posted a photo, of course your name is there. <laughs> um, also, this was, a, an, again, another emotional response. Uh, because they're talking about Kim. Yeah. By the way, I, I said this in a tweet, yes? <laughs> Apparently, the, uh, WPMom.org is redirected to some SEO Denmark something website. Maybe we could fix that. Maybe as a community, we can think of those who pass from among us somehow to, you know, if they had like private sites or personal blogs to keep them still alive, even if it's just a page of them, you know, birth year and Work in Antwerp, March. Nobody expected snow. <laughs> okay. Anybody here in the photo? You were in the photo? <laughs> okay. Photo of the audience during work camp loads. Am I pronouncing that right? I co organized my check. I was stressful, but seeing them all made me realize we achieved something great. And I think all organizers feel that when they see people coming together after doing, well, they come. Did we sell enough tickets? Do we have da, 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 da? I mean, the conversations organizers see in the Slack, and you know, some people just don't appreciate that much sometimes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> who remembers that? <laughs> what happens here? What is the history of this? <laughs> Do we have some water? Do we have, have some water? Some, uh, when there were 195 tickets sold, then um, I promised to wear a suit because I know it's a Yoast uh, suit. And um, I had the thought that it would be that kind of uh, suit. Ticket. And on the last day, one person bought a ticket. To, uh, to get that amount of uh, tickets. So, uh, that was insider trading. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to see you in this outfit. <laughs> and at three, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, that guy went in and he looked around and says, Oh, it's a complex and it's very <laughs> 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 Well, <laughs> you know, I've never heard of the WordCamp uh, or the WordPress community being scary, but. Okay? Jeff says, I'll never forget the giant boot on stage at Work in PS 2017 in Nashville. Yeah. Can you see the boot? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's pretty small, but. Yeah. Because Nashville and yeah. Cowboys and. It's a bit higher than Matt, as I see, but. Again, you've seen this. Actually, see, I, so I didn't change my presentation just so you see that uh, the WordPress community is connected. There's a vibe. So this photo is the first I used. And also, this is in a tweet that they sent in. So Someone got gray hair in four years. <laughs> Some don't have at all. <laughs> I, 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 I 
organize a workout. That's, that's, that's <laughs> Neil will send this one of uh, José Luis Lozanda that will haunt you in your dreams. <laughs> OK, anybody has any memories of this? As, as, they, as they say when the police asks you in the US, I have no recollection. Okay, a couple of more, then Nilo was like just pushing the max of how many f uh, tweets you can send out. And then of course, because they're very small, I'm just gonna make sure everyone sees them. This is Chris, one of the photographers we had last year. Uh, this is some, we don't know exactly what's going on here, but I'm assuming he was just passing by and Matt is trying to find signal in Europe. Uh, and then taking a selfie of the roof. Uh, again, Aww. where's Marcel? Marcel, can you, can you share some, uh, some circumstances about this? Sure, you want the short version or the long version? I have, how many minutes I have? <laughs> we have time, go ahead, five minutes. Three minutes, okay. okay. Five Two minutes, sure, one minute. Okay. <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't. <laughs> so We're talking we blisters. <laughs> we had great conversations on the way, uh, made a lot of pictures, um, and I believe Casper couldn't walk for two days after that. So uh, we had a fun. There's consequences of having yeah. fun. <laughs> I think the consequences were wasn't in the slides. Maybe next time I, I can uh, add it. The four markers during work camp Seville. Oh, yeah. Anybody remember any of these? Yeah. Hi. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Very good. Also love this one from Lisboa 2011. These two and Americo Diaz started the Portuguese work camp community back in 20, 20, 2007, but had never met in person until this photo was taken. Yeah. Well, they say until this day, but I don't care. I want to use photography as a keyword. So, <laughs> And uh, this is also an emotional one from all my encountered work camp photos. One stood out the most to me. By this time, I could only walk poorly and was struggling with chronic illness. Nevertheless, I was able to get up, the courage to talk about the hurdles, intending to encourage others. Right? I don't know, if you don't call this one emotional, I don't know. You made of steel. <laughs> and this is a, a very recent addition. Jord, uh, maybe you have some insights. How do you recognize me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this work that I made in uh, 2019, I think, uh, Taco. Uh, there was plans to having swag. Uh, they were actually distributing, I think, four different kinds. Uh, we, uh, we did crazy things with this picture. Uh, <laughs> well, they were coasters, I think. Yeah, they were coasters. And I just acquired it like 15 minutes before the talk, so. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice. So, Green Ward. Photographer. Make all these Memories. possible. <laughs> These are some of the pho photographers. What are the Events. of <coughs> now? Now I'm going into the call to action phase of the presentation, right? You generate the Memories. people will cherish for a nation. Yes, good. You make an <laughs> amount of Friends. as a photographer. <laughs> as a you do Not have to face. for the your work camp. Opportunity to Extend your mark. Oh my god, this is military, but <laughs> them. Hello, hello, buenas. I am from Spain and I have already been the official photographer for quite a few work camps in my home country in Spain. But uh, World of Europe was the first time I was part of the organizing team of something so big like a World of <laughs> Europe that uh, not only the, given, gave me the opportunity to work with uh, incredibly talented photographers, but also 
put me in quite a peculiar situation, <laughs> like, I don't know, like arranging with the mayor of Porto to um, the permission to bring a 18 meter crane to take a <laughs> picture from the workout. <laughs> <laughs> and one crane. <laughs> there are a lot of things that can be even put into work, so yes, uh, don't miss it. Come join us. <laughs> uh, hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Chris from Chapman in the UK. Hope you're all having a great time. Um, are you? Andy wanted to yes. say about what I've I'll let Chris know. Well, what you get out of something is probably just put against expectation. Um, before the event, I was expecting to have a good time. I was expecting it to be fun. But I don't think I really expected how much fun it was and how much I got out of it as part of discovering how big this community is in WordPress. And aside from the great group of uh, photographers that are working together, the wider group of uh, volunteers working on the event, but also watching people coming together um, where they think they've got one thing in common, websites or WordPress or code, but actually they've got so much more in common from a wide variety of backgrounds. And if I'm fortunate enough to be at um, a photographer again in Athens next year, um, I'm looking forward again to getting more of a sense of that but the one thing to take away from it was it's great fun and you really get an insight into what WordPress community is all about. So, uh, have a great time at WordCamp and hopefully see you all in Athens. Hoi, ik ben Roy. Afgelopen juli in Porto heb ik voor het eerst meegewerkt aan WordCamp als vrijwilliger, als fotograaf. Ik heb het bijzonder leuk gevonden. We hebben een leuk team onder leiding van Vuil, die als het goed is hier ergens onder staat te presenteren. Um, Oké. Okay. We hebben veel afgeleerd, we hebben eerder een groot evenement uh, gefotografeerd en alles wat erbij komt kijken, planning enzovoort, dus uh, bijzonder leerzaam. Uh, fotograferen soms in moeilijke lichtomstandigheden, of met in ons geval een scherm, dat uh, bijzonder lastig uh, deed. Ik zou zeggen, als je, als je WordPress leuk vindt en je vindt fotograferen, dan meld je aan om een WordCamp te gaan fotograferen. Erg leuk. Leuke mensen. Leuk om de achterkant van zo'n evenement te zien. Uh, 100% aangedaan. I have no idea what he said, but apparently it was good. <laughs> so, if you have a camera, oh, by the way, Roy, can you just do a short translation for the, you know, non-Dutch listeners and viewers of the video? <laughs> I hope you didn't say anything bad. <laughs> okay. Now you're going to blame it. No, you're going to blame it now on a blurry memory. <laughs> it's very Dutch. It's very Dutch. <laughs> okay. So again, if you have a camera, smartphone camera also qualifies. Uh, take photos and post them on Twitter, and use that hashtag. Have you been doing that since yeah. you were here? Because yeah. if you want to have a hashtag on Twitter trend and I know some things about social, is that you got to use that hashtag for every little tweet you put out. If it's images, even better, because the algorithm loves content, media content. It's a green word. Moment is looking for volunteer organizers. It's going to happen in Athens, Greece, as you've heard from Chris already, so apply. If you want to. Again, if there's question, <laughs> if there's any question, I don't know if you have any questions, but I'm happy to answer any question related to photography, volunteering at work camps, social media, I don't know. I'm going to ask Ivana to help me, maybe if it's too long and it's like content and marketing because I'm not that good at that. Okay. But that was my slides. It's safer here. <laughs> uh, thank you all for turning this into a great show. First of all, well, yeah, one, of the, one of the tweets was like that. So, yeah. so, that was one of the demands they asked, so. Question. Hi. 
Hello. For Larry Livestock, uh, I have a question. We uh, see at every war camp like there are people who don't like to be in photos, mm -hmm. and World Camp Europe is like two, two and a half thousand people. So, uh, did you ever have a problem that someone didn't want no. to be in photos? No. I'm going to go short. No. Never, ever, ever in any of the years I've participated as a volunteer or as an organizer or a lead photographer, never, ever has anyone said, no, I don't want to be in a photo. But also, I think it's about the way, like, you go to a conference, like you mentioned, 2,000, 3,000 people. You should expect that you're going to be at least in a background group shot somewhere. Legally, for example, in Romania, because I've had to deal with this in a court, it's if you're up, like, more than six people in a group photo, you cannot have any pretensions of, you know, take me away, delete me from that photo. Legally, I don't know about the legal or everywhere in Europe, but again, you're going to a major conference. You should expect to be in a video, in a photo, in a BTS, in something, somewhere. Now, if you specifically say, I have a bad hair day, I have a bad whatever, and you, you see the photographer trying to get the photo, we are always trying to say to all of the photographers, please be mindful of what the setup is like. Did you see the photo with the family and the child. Yeah, yeah. I went there and I said, are you okay with me taking a photo? And they're like, yeah, sure. And I even said, I'm going to go a little bit on the angle so the face of the baby is not visible. Yeah. The family didn't say anything, but I don't know. You, you should exercise a bit of empathy, especially if you have small children. You, know, you understand? Thank you. For, but that's a very good question. It's a, it's a big concern sometimes at events. Yeah, I have a question. yeah please. Ever. Yeah. Yes. Working Correct. Just a little bit about the challenges while, while we wait for the <sighs> That's a presentation on itself. <laughs> but, um, okay, I would just say this. We have a lot of fun trying to get photographers to come to apply as photographers. Some of them have those questions that we always get every year of, is anybody going to pay for my ticket? Am I going to have you know, a luxury apartment at my disposal so I can put my very expensive gear somewhere safe? No. There's somewhere a word that was written in, in, in green font. Volunteering is about you don't get paid. You don't get paid for your travel. You don't get paid for your content that you deliver, as any of them don't do. Now, is this fair or not? That's a lot of conversations to have. But these are the rules. And if you want to join uh, the photography team, you should expect to let your photos, like you create photos and you give them away in what we call creative commons. So everyone has access to them. Of course, they can take it and put other people in there and do, you know, additions and alterations, but you give them away for free. As I give all the portraits for free, like I stop people at work camps and I take portraits. Please, Ivana. Thank you for this talk. Uh, yeah. Thank so, you. Uh, what is your personal main takeaway from doing photography at work camps? My main takeaway? Yeah. <sighs> I would say friends. <laughs> yeah. I've never had, by the way, talking about money, I've never had anyone come to me and say, oh, I saw the photos you took at work camp, whatever year, can you do my wedding shoots? Ne never. <laughs> so that's not what I, or I, at least I hope, that's not what photographers are looking for. Yes, you get exposure, that's definitely true. Uh, but maybe if you are a photographer in your like, commercial life, like Costas or others, then maybe it's really important for you to get some extra exposure and get some leads. But I do something completely different at like my job, so I didn't really care. So because the question was personal, I would say friends. Yeah, not money. And Val, he, he That's my name. Yeah. Actually, you know what Val means in Dutch? Yeah. <laughs> Va? To fall. <laughs> Talk about. <laughs> and it's in Dutch, not German. <laughs> go, go ahead. I've learned one word in Dutch, uh, my name. <laughs> no, uh, just a second. Can you explain also the process for the ones who are considered? Like, after the conference yes. is done, we are all happy. You know, like, oh, yeah, oh, my God. Uh, then we are all happy, go home, we're so pumped up. Like, all the organizers, you know, we're done with the work. You need to just debrief or whatever, just, like, you know, send the documentation for the next, next, year's, next year's team. But then when you guys go, like, with all the work, like, Yes, um, usually the, the like 10-15 minutes after work camp 
you know, closure is done on stage, you get DMs on Twitter. Where's my photo? Can I get my photo? Did you get me on a photo? Did you get a portrait of me? Did you get a blah, 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 blah. And this year we had a lot of photos, uh, a lot of photographers, which is a, is a thing of uncontrollably um, possibilities because you, they are not your employees. Like you are a photography lead, whatever, but you don't manage their life and their work and their jobs and their families. So you have to expect whenever they have time to go through their own photos. This is a courtesy we do because I could do just select all, upload to Flickr, but then you'd have, you know, all those, we don't need videos, we need shots. So you have to select the best that you can and then allow each photographer to say, okay, these are for my, you know, 2,000 photos, these 800 are very good. <laughs> They're never gonna be that many, but I'm just saying. So, and then you upload them to the Flickr account that we have, that we share for WordCamp, and this is mea culpa now because we don't have all of the photos from WordCamp uh, Portugal, maybe also because I didn't, you know, I wasn't, let's say, uh, yeah, here I know, uh, more uh, uh, insistent with uh, people. But after you finish everything, then you, of course you have to go through them. Most of them are being shot at very large resolution, so you have to minimize them and then upload them. And yeah, there's a lot of things to do. But uh, it's, it's, it's a very, very nice thing to do. I would encourage anyone to apply to be a photographer because you get a lot of friends. So if you don't talk to many people, usually, if you don't have a lot of friends, even if you have too many friends, trust me, you don't have many friends. You think you have. <laughs> but at work camps, you're actually going to meet people who know your language, as in they do what you do in life. Most of them have the, almost the same values as you have. It's a large diversity, as you've seen in the photos. So you can get you know, cultural input, translation stuff, uh, just content, ideas for blog posts. You can write about, you know, going, walking to work camp, or you can talk about how somebody fell from a stage, I've heard, or, you know, it, you can make a movie out of it, like being a photographer at work camp, why not? Get a Hollywood to, you know, do something. So there's a lot of things you can create after as a photographer. And now that question to you, was it worth it? Yes. It was very expensive for the gypsum, but. <laughs> More Thank you. Happy to answer uh, uh, any questions also in private, so you can DM me or, oh, Taco, go ahead. Do, are we still okay for time? Yeah, yeah, yeah we can sleep here. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Um, At the start of your talk, you were joking about how much people spend on their cameras. Mm -hmm. um, if you have the aspiration to be a photographer at a work camp, do you need 10 grand worth of photography gear? Yeah. No. <laughs> we'll talk in private, right? Uh, no, you don't, but also you can't expect to come with a smartphone and get photos. Uh, we rejected, and this is transparency here, we rejected many photographers last year, uh, this year, uh, because they said, I don't have a camera. So I know that their hearts were big for coming, but we can't, ex I mean, they can't expect us to have like a, you know, lined up of 50 cameras for them to choose. Somebody did say that I have a very good smartphone whatever that means. I said, okay, thank you, but maybe, and we were talking with Jordan about doing stories, so you can help with that, like TikTok videos or Instagram stories, because they're all vertical and you can do it with the phone. Most of the photographers were doing that at the same time as doing their own shoots, so we had a lot of content on social as well. Uh, but definitely you don't need expensive gear, definitely not. Yeah. And also you don't have to be a professional photographer, you can just like photography. If you have a good eye to take a good frame and angle, it's fine. Yes, please. Do you have any uh, tricks or angles or techniques that you would specifically use at the workshop? Mm, nothing that you don't generally have for any other photography you take for events. Uh, I mean, it's not wedding photography, so, you know, you can... But I would say don't get very close to the people because then you, you sort of ruin the whole atmosphere. The moment you have to come to Remkes and say, I'm going to be taking a shot of you, so please, can you look away and do whatever you do? You ruined everything. And then you go back there, and then he's going to be like, well, not Remkes, because he doesn't care, but some other people could be like, oh, oh, they're taking my photo. What do I do? You take the photo, and you'd go, and then you say, look, I took this photo. Is it okay for me to use it? They can say no. You delete it. They can say yes, yeah, sure, and you use it. So it's all about the moment and the feeling. Does it feel good? Like you as a regular person, if you would see that shot somewhere, would you like to spend three seconds on it or half a second? If it's more than a second, then you take that photo. Because you would like to see the same photo. So you take a photo. Thank you. 
Yeah, sure. Happy to answer any questions. More questions? Okay. Like I said, prepare the sleeping bags. Uh, my question is, uh, so for example, you have a lot of pho photographers. Uh, I don't know how many of that work in Europe, but do you organize uh, like as a group, like you split around or yes. you it's free space? And oh my God, it's so much organization going on. So there's all these tracks happening, right? All these people speak in different stages, different rooms. And guess what? There's a lot of corridors and hallways between these rooms. So I would also maybe mention that maybe they should be fit. Because at the end of the day, I've seen some of them just like, oh my god, just give me a Red Bull, I'm going to go. Oh, there's a party tonight. Nobody gives a shit about parties after one day of photography at work camps. <laughs> if you're not fit, it's really stressful. You have to walk around. You have to you know, talk to people. You have your own map and your own schedule of what, you know, Ivana is talking in room five, go there. You know, Milan is talking there, go there. And then you also have to coordinate with the others because maybe somebody just has a bad diarrhea case and they go to the bathroom. What do you do? Nobody's going to cover stage five. Go there. Somebody can go there. So it's a lot of going on. That's why I said the next year I don't want to be a lead anymore because I want to actually enjoy work camp and talk to people and find them and, you know, com have conversations. I was just stuck in a booth out there with George just <laughs> going over photos and do we have everything covered? Does everybody have their photo? Because one of the speakers would come to you and say, there was nobody in my talk. Nobody took my photo. And I came here because I really thought that you're going to have professional photographers. Actually, this is a tweet I'm quoting. I'm not inventing this. So there's people coming and speaking at work camps, and that's great. Some of them know that you're going to have professional or very good photographers in the room. So they want those photos because you know it's for them, like their own portfolio. Yeah, you want to be seen on stage in a good photo, good frame, you know, not sort of a half angled, you know, diagonally shaped, and then people are like, is she standing or like laying or what? So all these things matter. Yes, not, you don't have to be a professional photographer, as I said, you don't have to have very expensive gear, but you still need to have a decent shot. I don't know if that answers your question. Me, me, Milan is trying to shut me down. The really personal question just like arose like all the emotions. Oh, you have now a personal question? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. More questions for that? Okay. Oh, one minute. There's one minute. Okay, one minute. So who has another question? Anything? A super short question for Bob. Yeah. Oh. A, a yes, no question. <laughs> uh, is it intentional that you don't use uh, flashes? I, I've never seen Yes. Seen we hate problem. flashes at events. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... For the audience, they don't really care. For the speaker, if you're on stage and you get a poof, poof, poof. Exactly. It's just the also the sound, because yeah. they do video recording, so you go like yeah. Poof, yeah. Poof, 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 poof. So, yeah, it's very intentional. And you'll see that at many other events, not just work camps. Yeah. It's one of the requirements, do not use flash. That's why you need to have some skills because in dark, you know, also a good lens and, you know, not $10,000, but maybe nine. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, Bob, thank you so much. Yes. Uh,